From the front page of YouTube to Ames, Iowa, Hank Green has been everywhere worth being. Oh, it's been great. I've had a great run. It's been great. But his fame has come at some unexpected costs. His relationship with his Rockefeller explosion hating brother, John Green, already at a breaking point, has been pushed to its limits. For Christ's sake, John, have you even heard their Beatles medley? Have you heard it? It's beautiful! And all of this on the cusp of the release of the internationally best-selling album, So Jokes. Actually isn't out yet, but it will be internationally best-selling, depending on how you define that term. This is Hank Green, Behind the Music. I see you death be kind of petrified. What would Ron do if Hermione died, or if Voldemort killed Hedwig just for yucks? I Hank Green was able to secure internationally recognized, played on Weezer albums and created music for that 70s show, Schmidt Mains, who owns a music studio in Missoula, Montana. Really, sort of the music studio in Missoula, Montana. Schmidt is awesome. Schmidt is like what would happen if Weird Al Yankovic and John Lennon had a baby, and it was bald. Most babies are bald. Together in the studio, Schmidt and Hank recorded many of Hank's YouTube hits, including Helen Hunt, I'm Gonna Kill You, Edward Spoonhands, Rossio Deathly Hallows, and Book Eight. What? Every from the sleeves of J.K. Rowling, I better not to do a skip and break the leave vowing to protect that pure blood pus face mouth boy. But in the end, I don't think it's gonna matter if Snape's good. Or if he's bad because the weight of the whole rests on our boy. He was like a big, awesome dream. And every time I went in there, we did something else that was really awesome. I'm gonna kind of kick the VH1 thing in the butt now. And tell you all that we are officially releasing So Jokes tomorrow. And we will have a big, long vlog TV party tomorrow as well. Alan, who coincidentally also made the intro for this video, thank you very much for doing that, is my DFTBA partner in crime, and he and a special guest are going to be working all day long at the DFTBA distribution center. And the result of their toiling labor is going to be that all the people who pre-ordered their CDs are going to get their CDs, and the first hundred are going to get signed CDs. And everyone starting tomorrow, you can go to DFTBA.com and order So Jokes, and it will be sent immediately to your house. And I'm going to be coming on and playing music and talking about the album and talking about music and talking about everything and talking about Song Wednesdays and the future of Brotherhood 2.0 and the future of DFTBA Records and my music in general. We'll be switching back and forth, and I think we're going to start about 5 o'clock Eastern Time. Now, let us have more footage of excellent piano playing and the end of Asio Lickly Hallows. Please, please go check out DFTV.com and see if you might want to purchase this that I worked hard on and am actually pretty proud of. So thank you all for supporting my music and So Jokes release party beginning tomorrow. We're probably going to play I'm in like with you games. And then you're going to hang out with Alan and his special guest, who is special. You're going to hang out with me and then him and then me and then him. And it's going to be lots of fun. I'm so excited to finally be getting to the signal of the world. And John, I will see you Sunday, if not before.